Of course, whatever I like to put on my face, I always look into how I could ingest it into my body through eating it or through, through an IV. But with yuja, it's fairly easy. I grew up drinking yuja tea. It is a no caffeine form of a tea that is a drink that helps boost our immune system. My mom used to give it to my sister and I, especially in the winter time like now, or if we are coming down with a bit of uh, a bit of a cold. So it really helps because it's so delicious. Here is an example. And there's there's a lot of brands now in Canada because the popularity of yuja is growing. So this is yuja and then cha, which is tea. This, uh, I made sure that it doesn't have a long list of ingredients. So this only has three ingredients. Unfortunately, one of them is sugar and the other is fructose. So this isn't the best to have in large quantities. I don't think of this as a daily tea, but once in a while treat just because of the sugar content. And what I do is I really decrease the amount that goes into a tea. So this is my teacup usually at the end of the night. So for a teacup this size, I would put a teaspoon of this Yuja tea. This one recommends one tablespoon, which is 20 grams. And I find that it's too much, um, especially when I think about the sugar content. It's still good just to have the flavor. And the most important part is you can see here, there are the citrus peels. So the most important part is to eat the peels as well because that's where the highest vitamin C content is. Yuja has three times, maybe even four times the amount of vitamin C as lemons do and I find that this is a much more pleasant way to consume citrus in our diet. You can't buy the fresh yuja fruit in the supermarkets just because for import reasons we actually don't get the fruit as a whole. So this tea is probably our next best thing in order for us to consume yuja and make it work its magic from within. It's very easy for kids to fall in love with the taste of yuja because it is sweet like honey. It's almost like it's a treat to have. So oftentimes when I feel myself having a scratchy throat, a bit of a sniffly runny nose, then I would immediately reach for the yuja tea thinking about how my mom used to remedy this when we were little. Not only for the immune boosting properties, but I still enjoy it because it does help fight the signs of premature aging. And that's something that I'm always focused on is what are the skin benefits of this particular tea or food that we're eating. I hope that you've enjoyed this video on yuja as a super fruit or a key skincare ingredient. If you're interested in purchasing this yuja tea, I think that you'll really enjoy it. You can find it in Canadian supermarkets, especially the Korean supermarkets, and you can easily spot it on the shelves. So if you don't see this particular brand, just make sure that it's a product of Korea and the ingredients list is as short as possible. So this only has three ingredients. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. If you like this video, be sure to brush the subscribe button, hit like and get notifications for my videos that are upcoming. Take care and see you with better skin. Bye.